Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. In today's session, we are going to learn about compression. Syllabus reference, show understanding of the need for and examples of the use of compression. Show understanding of lossy and lossless compression and justify the use of a method in a given situation. Also show understanding of how a text file, bitmap, image, vector graphic, and a sound file can be compressed, including use of run length encoding. So that's uh, part of your syllabus uh, as uh, unit in unit one as 1.3. Okay, let's start. So first of all, you must understand what is compression and why compression, right? So basically, whenever you have, you know, larger files, bigger files, uh, then of course you need more storage capacity to store them. Along with that, whenever you try to upload or download these kind of files, you know, your transmission rate becomes very, very slow. And in some situations, you know, there are restrictions that you cannot upload or download, uh, you know, a file size which is beyond a given standard file size. Right. In such scenarios, compression techniques are used to reduce file size. So why do we use file uh, compression to reduce file size, which ultimately increases upload and download download time for a particular file. Right. So that is why compression is done. So to reduce the file size so that uh, upload or download time can be increased. So in one mark or two mark a question, these two points you can write. One about reducing the file size uh, and second about increasing or uh, decreasing the download rate. Now, uh, next is type of compressions. In your syllabus, there are two types mentioned, lossless and lossy compression, right? So we'll learn about both these uh, types in today's session. So lossless, as the name suggests, there is a no loss of data. It is lossless. Data is not lost. Only file size is, is reduced. And later on, when we decompress the file, complete file with all data can be retrieved. Okay, no loss of data. So the file size is reduced here in this compression, but no information is lost. The process can be reversed, means when we decompress, we can recreate the original file. So these two are very, very important points uh, whenever they ask you to describe lossless compression. This is particularly important for files where loss of any data would be disastrous. For example, any, you know, coding files or spreadsheet files where some important results are mentioned. <laughs> Example for lossless compression is run length encoding. We'll learn about this later in detail. Uh, second is lossy compression. Lossy compression also, we reduce the file size. However, here there is loss of information or data from the file. Some data is permanently deleted, right? The exact original file can never be recovered. It eliminates how the compression is done. It eliminates some unnecessary data. So deletion of unnecessary data is done. Example is, uh, you know, all the MP3 and image formats, they are compressed using lossy compression format, okay? Uh, next is how text file, bitmap images, vector images, and sound files, they can be compressed. Let's start with text file. So text file, they, if, uh, you know, contain data. Uh, if we uh, have to compress them, we have to use some lossless compression uh, technique. Why? Because none of the original data can be lost. Uh, 
uh, as text file, it might con uh, you know become meaningless or we may crash if we delete some of the data. So for uh, compression of uh, uh, text file, we have to use lossless compression. So one such technique is run length encoding, and we'll cover this in uh, in this session uh, after learning about uh, the basics. Okay. Next is how bitmap images they are compressed. So when an uh, image file is compressed, then we have to reduce both the file size as well as quality. So here lossy compression technique can be used because uh, we can compromise on you know uh, quality of the image. So uh, the basic uh, uh, techniques uh, here which we use are you know cropping an image. Uh, we just crop some data or we decrease the color depth or also sometimes you reduce the image resolution to you know uh, reduce the uh, to compress the file. So we can compromise on the quality. So here lossy uh, technique can be used. So uh, lossy file compression is mentioned here, right? Next is vector images. So vector images can also use different type of file comp uh, compression methods. Uh, one such method is where, uh, you know, scalar vector graphics, graphics, that is SVG format. It can be defined in an XML text file format first, and then later on, uh, we can compress that text file using any text file compression method, right? Then comes sound files. Now, how sound files are compressed? Sound files are compressed, uh, you know, there is a method called percep uh, perceptual music shaping. And there is a uh, one or two marker question in pa some of the past paper questions based on uh, this topic. Per perceptual music shaping. So describe perceptual music shaping. What is perceptual music shaping or how, you know, uh, sound files, they are compressed. So you have to write about this uh, technique, uh, perceptual music shaping how it uh, compresses the file it removes certain sounds so removes means again lossy compression technique is used here so some frequencies that are outside the human hearing range they are deleted number two if two sounds are played at the same time and one is at the higher uh, is louder than the other one so our uh, ear they cannot uh, you know listen to that softer sound so we can eliminate that sound right so this means that certain parts of the music can be removed without affecting the quality too much so yes again sound files they can be compressed using lossy compression technique so this is called lossy format so some part of the original file is lost and we cannot recover it later because there is permanent deletion of some of the data, right? Then comes run length encoding. So what is run length encoding? And there are questions based on run length, run length encoding where they do ask, describe RLE, or they do put some questions where you actually have to uh, calculate uh, uh, the compression uh, based on the RLE method. So we'll cover both. First of all, what is run length encoding method? So it is a form of lossless or reversible it means no data deletion here. The file which is compressed can be, uh, original file can be recreated after decompression compression of that file. So here a uh, file is reduced. What we do in RLE, Size is reduced of a string of adjacent identical data, such as repeated colors in an image. So basically here in run length encoding, we figure out the patterns, right? Of similar kind of data, that data can be similar kind of, you know, uh, uh, similar colored pixels, or it can be similar characters, you know, patterns of similar character, sequence of similar characters, depending upon whether we are uh, compressing using uh, uh, compressing um, 
image file or we are compressing a text file depending upon that. So how it works. In run length encoding, a repeating string is encoded into two values, right? So if you have a string of, let's say you have some alphabets written, let me take pen and Okay, so for example, this is a pattern writ, uh, written in the text file A, A, you know, B, 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 C, C. If this is the pattern written, it's deleted, okay, all right. So again, I'm writing A, A, B, B, B. Let's say this is the pattern written, right? I have written just five characters to explain this method. So there, there is a, a sequence of characters which are repeated here. So A is repeated two times, B is repeated three times. So pattern of uh, repeated, sequence of repeated characters. Now, what we do, we encode it, we compress it by writing it uh, First of all, the character which is repeated, we write that, right? Or we can write, uh, first of all, we write the value that how many times is it, this is repeated. So two is, uh, A is repeated two times, so two A, and then B is repeated three times, so three B, right? So, Let's see what we have written here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So a repeating string is encoded into two values. So what are those two values? First value represents the number of identical data items such as characters in the run. Right. And second value represents the code of the data items. So here code is A and number of times it is repeated is two. So two A, here code is B, and number of times it is repeated is, repeated is three. So two A, three B is the compressed version of this text, right? Okay, so now, <clears throat> RL is only effective where there is a long run of repeated units or bits. It is not uh, effective if your, you know, uh, repeated patterns are very less and you start compressing, then compressed file plus the original file size will be almost same. So uh, it's only effective where there is a long run of repeated units or bits, right? Let's have a look at some past paper questions. So this one is uh, May, June 2022, 9618138. Explain why lossy compression should not be used on a text file. So we have just covered up there. Yeah, here. So how text files can be compressed. So we have covered here that text files can be compressed using lossless compression. So they have asked why not lossy? Right. So we have written here that none of the original data can be lost as text file might become meaningless or cannot be opened again. So let's go down there again. Yeah. Explain why lossy compression cannot be, uh, should not be used on a text file. So first point is file data cannot be lost. Number one. Text file data, we cannot lose any of the data. We, we cannot delete uh, the data from a text file because then maybe the meaning is not clear to us what a text file is all about. Maybe then meaning is, uh, may not, when we recreate that file, that meaning will not be clear to us, uh, whatever is written in the text file. Second, the file might get corrupted or it cannot be opened again. If some data is, uh, you know, some complicated data is there, then file might become 
corrupted or your file can be crashed forever, right? That is uh, the reason. So it is a two marker question and uh, two points we have written here. Yeah. Okay. Now, next is past paper question again, May, June 2022. <clears throat> 961813. Now, first row of pixels in the image from part B is shown. So some other question where some, you know, image was given. So they have given one row of pixels. So in this, uh, they have written B in all the cells. So question is explain, not explain. That means you have to explain it with some evidences. How this row of pixels can be compressed using lossless compression, right? So you don't have to give an answer that this will be, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't have to write ten B as an answer. They are they are clearly asking explain how. So you have to explain it. So. Number one, we can use, we know that we can use run length encoding here. So you can write here, run length encoding can be used to compress it for, uh, because that is a method of lossless compression. How, now we come to how part. How is, how we, how run length encoding works? Here we identify repeated group of patterns, right? We know that there are some uh, pattern of uh, characters mentioned. So we'll identify repeated group of patterns and then what we'll do? Then we'll replace them with one copy of the character and then number of times it is repeating. So that is how uh, run length encoding works. So because they have asked uh, about run length encoding, so we will explain it by writing this. Full, full method will be right. Right. Now, one more question. The image is compressed using lossless compression again. So most of the questions are based on run length and coding in past papers. So identify one method of lossless compression. So we know one method is run length and coding. So we'll write that. It is a three marker question. So one mark is for name of the lossless compression method. Then describe how. Again, describe how. So whatever we have written here, same thing we'll write here. Look for sequence of some color pixels because this is an image. So we'll talk about color pixels here. We'll not talk about characters. We'll talk about color pixels. So we'll look for some sequence of some uh, color pixels. Then we replace sequence of uh, same color pixels with color code and then number of identical pixels. So that's all. According to the question, you need to change the terminology used here. So here characters were used. So we uh, have written about characters and sequence of characters. Here it was all about image. So we have written about sequence of same color pixels, right? So that's all. With this, our unit one is over. We have covered all the topics of unit one uh, with this topic, compression, right? Next, we'll start with unit two, networking. Right. So thank you.